Colorado lawmakers are doing their best impression of U.S. Congress today, holding a hearing with a predetermined outcome that results in sound bites that both Democrats and Republicans will be able to use in future campaigns. House Republicans are trying to impeach Democratic Secretary of State Jenna Griswold. House Democrats agreed to give it a hearing, a hearing that will end with Griswold not being impeached. Politics guy Marshall Zellinger joins us from the state capitol now where the hearing is still going on. Marshall, it will fail, but that's not really the point here. I will tell you right now that the vote will be eight to three. Eight Democrats on the committee against impeachment, three Republicans on the committee for it. So no, impeachment is not the point. It, it's this. It's us doing a story. It's Republicans being able to prove to their voters they stood up to power on an issue they find controversial. And it's Democrats being able to say they gave it a hearing and also they're giving the Secretary of State another platform to say some of the same things that Republicans are trying to impeach her over. What you mean, but I, I do think that if you are accusing me of being biased, we should talk about the election conspiracies that have continuously come out of House Republicans. So that's Just how it's going year, in the impeachment attempt of Democratic Thank Secretary of State Jenna Griswold, Democrats. Republican House Minority Leader Rose Puglisi, and Republican State Representative Ryan Armagost want to impeach Griswold, accusing her of malfeasance in the effort to keep former President uh, uh, Trump off the elections. primary ballot. For using her official position to engage in viewpoint discrimination and election interference by trying to prevent a candidate she does not like from making it onto the Colorado ballot. Here's what really happened. Six Colorado voters and a liberal Washington, D.C. group sued Griswold to keep Trump off the ballot, a lawsuit that went to the U.S. Supreme Court, which ruled he was eligible. Griswold, as Secretary of State, printed Trump's name on the ballot and all votes for Trump were counted. What's really at issue is that she went on TV, radio, and social media to say things like this about Trump. House Republicans are trying to impeach me for saying the undeniable truth. And I want to clearly say to the Republicans on this committee, Trump is an oath-breaking insurrectionist. This hearing allowed Colorado lawmakers to act like the U.S. Congress. It's rare for a lawmaker to interrupt a witness testifying normally about why a bill should pass or fail, but this was not a normal hearing. So the real impeachable offense is that she didn't defy any court order and that her rhetoric and statements were critical of Donald Trump. Isn't that correct? No, and I'll finish my comment. Nothing further. Then there was the part of the hearing where Democratic State Representative Jennifer Bacon and Kyle Clark asked you what cited this interview from next between Kyle and Armagos. And that can also hopefully help us in the next election cycle. Well, you didn't just say you're impeaching her because it'll help you in the next election cycle. No, I think this will get more people to come to the come to vote so that we can get more people voting for what they think is right. And you said during the interview that the purpose of this resolution is to hopefully help us in the next election cycle and quote, this will get more people voting and quote, have Republicans win elections this fall. Is that correct? That is incorrect. That is out of context. But but you did say those words. The words that you took out of context, I did say yes. Okay, but you said... The there is one question that the secretary did not answer, and it came from State Representative Gen Jennifer Bacon. She asked Griswold that, minus a lawsuit, would Griswold have tried to keep Trump off the primary ballot on her own? She said something to the effect of, I would do whatever a court order told me to do. So in the hallway, I asked Griswold, hey, you didn't answer the question. Is it yes or no? She told me she didn't really have an answer because she and other secretaries of state expected a lawsuit in some state. It just happened to be Colorado. They expected a lawsuit on this. So she kind of avoids the answer. She did say, however, Mark, this was interesting, that they considered it a few years ago when former state representative Ron Hanks was running for U.S. Senate, he was outside the Capitol on January 6th, and she said they couldn't prove that he went inside, so it became a non-issue to them about whether or not they should unilaterally try to remove him and disqualify him from the ballot a few years ago. Marshall, the hottest club in Denver on a Tuesday night might just be the state Capitol. Things are popping off there. They're, they're getting spicier. People still there at 6 p.m.? Well, outside the person who walked by, not really. Even the Secretary of State is gone, since we know it's going to be 8 to 3 in favor of not impeaching her. And the committee room is fairly empty compared to how it looked when the hearing started. So pretty much Mike Grady, photojournalist, and I are hanging out at the Capitol with very few people other than that. Yeah, why stay if you already know what the outcome's going to be? Marshall, thank you.